This video was made to review and criticize the material in it and is not intended to be a substitute for the original work. I do not own the material or any part of the show in this video. Please support HBO by watching the full episode and show on HBO or any other platform that legally streams it. Links to the official sites are available in the description box below. This video is intended to fall under the general guidelines of fair use and is edited as to not compete with the original work. As an aspiring writer and artist, my goal is to comment, review, criticize and learn from the work. Thank you for understanding. Welcome to Watcher, today we're watching episode 69. That hot number, what am I even talking about? It's kind of an overrated number. Stop! Anyway, before we begin, please don't leave any spoilers in the comment section. I'd greatly appreciate that. And most importantly, thank you so much for the support and for joining me on this adventure. If you're new here, then please subscribe. That would be really awesome. The last episode, I actually felt it. It was a good ride. Sansa continues to impress me. Man, she's become sharp, like really sharp. Her growth and development has been phenomenal in my opinion. Then Jon learned about who he truly is. I really liked the way Sam told him about it. I see some problems arising as a result of Jon being a Targaryen. This might be it for him as a true northerner. Most northern lords will choose Sans over him. I don't think he'll have as much influence. But also, on a personal level, will he continue his romance with Daenerys knowing that they are related? There are so many interesting possibilities. Now the thing I'm really looking forward to is Jaime's reunion with Bran. Can't wait to see how that will go. Also, I do sense some discontent from Varys. He's not vibing with the reckless young leaders. He seems to be concerned about the future. I think he might feel a bit disappointed. He signed up for this with the ambition to put in a system that creates a more just world. I think he feels like we aren't making any progress when it comes to that, but I might be reading everything wrong. We'll see. Anyway guys, it's time for the next episode. Hopefully we'll start where we ended, with Jamie and Bran. I wanna see that. And another thing that will be interesting to see is Jon and how he deals with the information he just got from Sam. Stabbed him in the back. His throat. What happened to Bran? Come on, did we just skip that over? All the things we would do to that man. Your sister pledged to send her army north. It appears your sister lied to me. Well, she's good at that. She never had any intention of sending her army north. She has Euron Greyjoy's fleet and 20,000 fresh troops. Oops, Tyrion. Even if we defeat the dead, she has more than enough to destroy the survivors. We. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. Well, this would feel a bit suspicious, but not from our side as the viewers, because we know who Jamie is now. Perhaps he trusts his little brother to defend him, right up to the moment he slits my throat. Well, actually, I would love that. Everything I did, I did for my house and my family. I'd do it all again. The things we do for love. Brand the creep is back. He is a man of True. She knows him pretty well now. Without him, my lady, you would not be alive. You vouch for him. I do. Let's go, Brienne. I trust you with my life. If you trust him with yours, we should let him stay. Let's go, Sansa. The one true queen. What does the Warden of the North say about it? Well, suddenly he's become a clueless man. Thank you very much. Well, I wanted to see the conversation between Jamie and Bran, if there even was one. Either you knew Cersei was lying and let me believe otherwise, which makes you either a traitor or a fool. I was a fool. Not for the first time. If you can't help me, take it back. I'll find another hand who can. Well, John, I think it's time to tell her who you are. She's going mad. Going mad? I don't think she's going mad, really. She's been this way for quite a while now. You made my weapon yet? <laughs> Impatient. I wonder how old they are currently. You fought them? I did. What are they like? Bad. Bad? What a description. Really bad. <laughs> Even a smith's apprentice can do better than really bad. I would agree. This is different. This is... I think she can take on some of them. Don't underestimate her. She's quite good. Quick at least. I know death. See? My weapon. I'll get right on it. Well, he looked impressed. Good. Wait, are we getting the conversation now? Yeah. I think so. This will be awkward. I'm sorry for what I did to you. You weren't sorry then. I'm not that person anymore. You still would be. If you hadn't pushed me out of that window. And I would still be Brandon Stark. Everyone is confused when they speak to Bran. Why didn't you tell them? You won't be able to help us in this fight if I let them murder you first. What about afterwards? How do you know there is an afterwards? Wow, for some reason, I love Bran's character. I love the creep he's become, like some form of god. 
an all-knowing person. Together again. Well, this won't be easy for them at enemy territory. They'll come around once they see Daenerys is different. And she is. I don't know. I'm still not sure about that. Was she lying about the baby too? No. Okay, that would have been a twist if she was lying about that as well. She fooled me more than anyone. She never fooled you. You always knew exactly what she was. Mm, that might be true. He did stick around for quite some time. He finally had enough though. At least Cersei won't get to murder me. Mm, are we sure about that? Did Bronn accept that mission? What is he looking at? Brian, I'm sensing some love in the air. I think he's looking for her. I told you commanding the left flank. I am. The left flank. Okay, Brian has quite a role then. Commander of the left flank. We have never had a conversation last this long without you insulting me. Not once. You want me to insult you? No. Good. <laughs> what is going on? I feel like I shouldn't interfere here. I'm not the fighter I used to be. But I'd be honored to serve under your command if you'll have me. She's like, what? Me too. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I think you might be too experienced to serve under someone. We can still use your brain, your strategies, your tactics, and all of that. When I heard you named Tyrion your hand, I was very disappointed. It broke my heart. Even worse, it broke his heart. You made the right choice. So? He's made mistakes. And so have you. Even worse mistake than he has. You're advising me to forgive the man who stole your position. That's good advice. Lady Sansa, I was hoping we could speak alone. Sure, let's talk. Let's not make this awkward, because I'm feeling all of it here. So uncomfortable. Tyrion is a good man. That's right, she knows him. She spent some time with Tyrion. You never should have trusted Cersei. You never should have either. So, are you guys trying to bond here? I can't help but feel we're at odds with one. Yeah, you're not on Sansa's level. I'm here because I love your brother. John, you need to clear things up here. This won't end well. What happens after this? I take the Iron Throne. Yeah, and then? What about the North? Here we go. What about it? Let's go. Nice to see you, the Theon. Your sister? Yeah, we saved her. She's sailing to the Iron Islands instead. Take them back in your name. But why aren't you with her? I'm here to help you guys. To help the Starks. I want to fight for Winterfell, Lady Sansa. If you'll have me. Alright. That's awesome. So this means that they will have you. Everyone is helping out. Which way do you want to go? I want to fight too. Little warrior, you might be a bit too young for that. I'm going to be in the crypt with my son. And I'd feel a lot better with you down there to protect us. That's awesome. I'll defend the crypt then. Yeah, let's go. Who is that? Will that be Tormund? And the boys? Oh. That scared me. I'm glad you guys survived. That was close. Now, where is the freaking army? We met up at the last hearth. The dead got there first. The Umbers? They are gone. Whoever's not here now is with them. Yeah, the army is growing. They will be dangerous and they have a dragon. You can't beat them in a straight fight. Nope, you can't. The Night King made them all. They follow his command. Getting to him may be our best chance. But how will you get to him then? He might be flying on a dragon. He'll come for me. Oh, I see. What does he want? An endless night. He wants to erase this world. And I am its memory. Bran is the boss of all the bosses. If I wanted to erase the world of men, I'd start with you. Mm, very true. That's great logic. We'll put you in the crypt where it's safest. No. No? I wait for him in the godswood. We're not leaving you alone out there. He won't be. I'll stay with him. I took this castle from you. Let me defend you now. Oh, I love that. Very honorable of you. When the time comes, Sir Davos and I will be on the walls to give you the signal to light the trench. Sir Davos is perfectly capable of waving a torch on his own. You'll be in the crypt. She wants to protect her hand. I would have preferred if Tyrion helped out with Davos. So that's it. That's our plan. Tyrion is so disappointed. You've had a strange journey. Stranger than most. I'd like to hear about it. It's a long story. If only we were trapped in a castle. Now let's hear your story, Bran. From the beginning. What a life. What a special kid. When Daenerys takes her throne, there will be no place for us here. You mean exactly here or in Westeros? Let's travel the world. I'd like to see the beaches again. Then I will take you there. Hmm. Something might go wrong here. Maybe Grey Worm will die in the war. We told her yet? Nope, he has not told her. Sam, can you convince him somehow? Waiting for the perfect. Well, there won't be a perfect time for that. I'd say the sooner the better. Last man left. Burn the rest of us. I don't know if that last man will have time for that. I wish father were here. Them two again. I'd love to see the look on his face when he realizes his two sons are about to die defending Winterfell. Yeah, that's pretty funny. It's a shame he's dead. My lady. Oh, 
We didn't mean to interrupt. We were just looking for somewhere warm to... to contemplate your imminent death. You've come to the right place. Let's hang out. Thank you, my lord. I don't think that's wise. The battle might start at any moment. Can't Bran tell us where they are? The army? The dead? Join us. All right. Brienne is always so formal. What is this? And Tormund is here. All the goats at one place. Now where is the hound? It could be our last night in this world, you know? Yes, I'm Look glad at you're here. <laughs> this is hilarious. What's they up? Call you king killer. Almost. I'm sure someone does. They call me giant's bane. Want to know why? I don't know. Do we not want to know? I killed the giant when I was ten. Well, that's amazing. Very impressive. Then I climbed right into bed with his wife. Okay. I think I've had enough of that story. Tormund, what a legend. Alright, relax. What is going on? Now where is the hound? Oh, here he is. This might be fun. You never used to shut up, now you're just sitting there like a mute. Guess I've changed. The hound, always complaining. When was the last time you fought for anyone but yourself? Maybe he's still fighting for himself. Oh, yeah, that's right. Don't forget that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who is that? Oh. Beric is joining. Is he on your list? <laughs> For a little while. What about now? I suppose not anymore. When like Thoros isn't here anymore, so I hope you're not about to give a sermon. Because if you are, <laughs> I'm out. I'm just gonna wonder why I brought you back 19 times just to watch you die when I chuck you over this fucking wall. <laughs> I would laugh so mad, so much at that. How can Arya keep a straight face? Is she going already? Where are you going? I'm not spending my final hours with you two miserable old shits. Why not? Not for me. Is it finished? What did you even make? What is that? Let's see. Oh, that looks cool. What did the red woman want with you? Mm. Let's not talk about that. She wanted my blood. Oh. I'm Robert Baratheon's bastard. She's like, what? Is that your first time? I wasn't with her. Were you with other girls? Yes, I was. Arya, you know, this isn't... Very appropriate. Like, how old are you even? We're probably going to die soon. Dude, is she into Gendry? Like how old is Arya? Please don't. Please don't. Okay, that's enough. No, 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 no. I'm not the Red Woman. Yikes! This just feels a bit wrong. I think we might live. Maybe you're right, Tyrion. I personally would guess that they will survive. At least some of them. So Brienne of Tarth. Pardon me. Lady Brienne. She's not a sir. Women can't be knights. Why not? Tradition. Fuck tradition. <laughs> Here we go. The wildlings are the best. Any knight can make another knight. So? Do you want to be a knight or not? Let's go. This is your chance, your opportunity. But maybe you don't want it. In the name of the warrior. Let's knight everyone. That would be epic. Sir Tormund. But no, that would lose its, its meaning. This is a big moment for her. Let's keep it that way. See, she's even getting emotional. All right, that's a beautiful moment. <laughs> this is great. Ooh, little boss lady. I wish you good fortune, cousin. What a boss! It's my family sword. You still mm -hmm. have a family. I'd love to defend them with it, but I can't really hold it upright. Another sweet moment. I'd be honored if you take it. Jora, take it. You know how to fight, you're strong. Sam can't really do much with it. I'll wield it in his memory. Man, I don't know, I feel like everyone is about to die. In the halls of the kings who are gone. I'm impressed. I was about to banter him, but... I'm actually impressed. For some reason I'm getting goosebumps. Is this the moment, John? Are you about to tell her, just before the battle, to be able to focus on the walkers? I think you need to... Tell her, because John looks really troubled right now. Who's that? Yeah, who is that? Lyanna Stark. And who was Lyanna Stark to you? My brother Rhaegar. Everyone told me he was decent and kind. Your brother? Yeah, his father. He loved her. Yes, here we go, please, before the episode ends. Come on. Married in secret. After Rhaegar fell on the trident, she had a son. Robert would have murdered the baby if he ever found out, and Lyanna knew it. Ooh, the goosebumps right now. As she bled to death on her birthing bed, was give the boy to her brother. Ooh. Ned Stark. Is she realizing? As his bastard. My God. A real name. What is your real name? It's Aegon Targaryen. Yeah, it is true. It would make you the last male heir of House Targaryen. 
Yes, that is correct. You'd have a claim to the Iron Throne. Is that all you're thinking about? Oh no, here we go, here we go. I'm so nervous. Next episode, I suppose, this will be the cliffhanger. Here they are. Just looking at them makes me cold. This was probably the calmest episode of the whole series. Not much really happened. And that doesn't mean that it's bad. It might even be necessary, depending on where the story is going. For where we are in the story, I feel like this made a lot of sense. It's like the true calm before the storm. And I think that's what they wanted us to feel. Cause next episode might be a crazy one. Well, so what actually happened in this one? We pretty much saw our favorite characters hang out, bond, take in life and all of that. But I'd say that the major thing was probably Jamie getting accepted by Team Winterfell and John finally telling Daenerys who he is. Again, I like the way they did that. I got massive goosebumps. There isn't really that much to analyze right now. So I suppose we can move on to the characters. Out of all the characters that are in Winterfell, there is one person who doesn't really fit in. And that person is Daenerys. She truly is obsessed with the Iron Throne. People who want power that much shouldn't really have it. I feel like everyone around her is getting a bit tired of her temper. She really loves blaming everyone. I still can't understand how she can have so many loyal people around her. This makes me love the characters who question her even more. It will be interesting to see how everyone will deal with the John situation. Like who should have the Iron Throne? Should we continue supporting Daenerys or does this mean that we have to support John? I don't know, we'll see. Everyone else was doing what they usually do. Or no, people were a bit calmer and in the zone. Which is quite understandable. That might have been their last day alive. There were a couple of nice scenes in this one. I especially loved the whole ending sequence, which began with Daenerys and Jon. But I also loved the beginning with Jaime, and Jaime's short conversation with Bran. So there were some nice little scenes. Well, I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10. I'd say that it was a calmer but necessary episode. This might be obvious, but I have a feeling that the living might win the war, and that the Night King isn't the final boss. Cersei will probably be the last thing we'll have to overcome, and I don't think it will be as easy as I first believed. During this war with the dead, we might lose many epic characters, which makes me very nervous and anxious, but I suppose we'll have to find out how it all goes. Well, anyway guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this and you're new, then please subscribe. That would be awesome. Now take care and see you next time.